Okay, so this is the Russian T80 BV MBT by Trumpeter. Let's look at the box first and see what it shows us. So of course we have the name up here, the Trumpeter badge, and the scale. This kit is in 172nd. The length of the kit is 136 millimeters. The width is 52.2 millimeters, and there are 50 plus parts. I don't know the exact number. We're just going to go off what they've said there. The box art, of course, is of a T80 BV. The T80 BV is a Russian main battle tank, albeit a failed Russian main battle tank. It was using a different engine, a gas-powered engine. And of course, the later variants were better and used the proper engine. However, we can see that this is just a simple box art of the tank. This is in a Russian green scheme. Nothing too fancy. You've got a little bit of reflection here of it on the box. That's always fun to see. But other than that, just a simple box. Nothing too special. So we're going to go around to this side here. As you can see, we have a repeat of the picture on the front. We have the name. And of course, your code here for the trumpeter. So that's just if you're storing in a model shop, you could see whatever side you're using on. So we have a brief description here of the tank itself. Of course, nothing too special here. Once again, I like when they add this in. A bit more detail than usual on kits, but that's always good to see. Once again, we have a picture of the decals. We get a fair few here because we have four schemes available. We have the A scheme of Russian green. We have the B scheme of a Russian green with desert sand and black bands here. And of course we have C of a former winter camouflage or show camouflage. I'm not too sure on this one. And D is your normal winter camouflage of white, black and Russian green. The kit is a top opener. You just open up the top and you get to the parts inside. As you can see, they all come in bags with different packaging in. They get bags for each one, so an excessive amount of excess packaging, but of course that stops it getting damaged. Even the decals come in their own bag, which is always nice to see, stops them getting scuffed. More parts there wrapped up nicely. Another sprue, and then of course the instructions. So let's get on to the individual parts and the instructions. And of course we have a repeat of what was on the box. We have your tank profile, the scale, and of course the item number. We have more read before assembly instructions as per usual, and of course your logo and symbol representations. Of course we have another guide of decal application. One thing to certainly note very first off is the fact the instructions are not printed in color. These are black and white instructions, which might make the camouflage schemes at the back a bit more confusing. Going on to the first page, we have a summary of all the parts. We see we have two main sprues, two tracks, an upper hull, a lower hull, a decal sheet, and of course the turret. All of these come separately in their own individual bag, as shown before. The first step is putting the two parts, the lower hull and the upper hull, together. Second step is putting the wheels on and the drive wheels. Of course, we have this wooden back as all MBTs did then. Moving on, we have the third page where I put that outer brown track in and the few more details on. Fourth is the smoke screen and the, once again, smaller details and side skirts. Now the tank is actually quite thin, the individual hole, but the side skirts do make it quite wide. The fifth step is all about the turret. We have the turret part and lower section. We join them together, put the mantle in with a few smaller details. And of course, now we're fitting the very nice ERA and distinctive ERA bricks on the side of the turret. Next page, of course, is step six. We have more turret details going on. Nice to see there. This kit is actually quite detailed for 172nd. I'm quite surprised and I'm kind of glad actually. Page seven and has the final few instructions in there. We have the gun going in, the machine gun there, and a few more turret details. And of course, finally, we're putting the steps on. So that concludes the main building steps. We turn on to page eight here, and we have the paint and marking guide. Now, as you can see, it's actually in black and white. I'm not sure why, and it does make this schemes a little bit more confusing. 
at the top here, we can see we have a paint guide. Let's get that into focus here. It's probably not going to go to focus. Right, here we go. So we have paint reference colors for all the different ones. This is quite a nice feature and it would be nice if they were all filled in. However, they're not. So it kind of renders the entire thing useless. So zooming back out now, we can see we have your four main schemes. We have A, the plain Russian green, B, your desert camouflage one, C, your bluey, orangey colored one. That's quite an interesting scheme. And of course we have D, your white one. So that does conclude the instructors booklet. Quite simple, very thin, but very, very nice indeed. Could have done with a bit of color in there just to make it a little easier. Let's go on to the gray parts now. As you can see, the gray parts come in there all in separate bags. We have the upper hull, some of the side skirts and ERA bricks here. We have your lower hull here. We have the outside tracks here. They're gonna be interesting to do. We have your turret encased in this sort of protective packaging here. And of course, wheels and your typical stuff there. We're gonna open up these packages now and have a closer look at the detail inside. All right, so now we're gonna have a look at the actual plastic parts. So this is the first of the large sprues. As you can see, we have your wheels along here, your road wheels, of course, it's a modern tank. We have the bottom of your turret. We have some smaller details here, of course. Not really sure what they are, but they will be forming part of the tank. We, of course, have your drive wheels, some exhaust bits here. Your smoke barrels here. The machine gun here looks quite nice. Let's see if I show you the other side. Looks relatively detailed. Nothing too extravagant, though. Overall, not too much fashion here. Really not too much. The details are there. That They're not certainly not loads, but, of course, for a cheap kit, you can't really complain. We'll go into the turret now then. So the turret comes in its own separate bag. The turret comes pre-made with the ERA on top and you just put it onto this bit here of the turret. Looks pretty neat. As the other parts, there are no flash, looks pretty clean. Of course, no extravagant details, but the details are there. And of course, you've got the pre-made dents, indents there for the extra pieces. The next bit we're going to look at is the hull. The hull also comes pre the suspension put on. Nothing fancy on the inside, of course, just your maker's name there, maker's code. We have the same on the other side, no special detailing, just the drive wheels. On here we have some frontal detail there, nothing once again special. And the back just, of course, more detail and some indents for the basic stuff to put in. The next section we're going to look at is the upper hull. We have the ERA already on there. We have, once again, basic detail. This engine deck here is quite detailed, to be fair. Quite thin plastic. Not sure how that's going to work out. Could be fine, could be bad. We will need to see. Of course, we have the pins here to put into the lower hull. Moving on to the next larger sprue, you see we have your side skirts here. Nicely detailed, and once painted, I'm sure they will look like proper rubber. You can see you've got the small little indents here, making that look like it's actual flaps of rubber. Of course, we have your ERA bricks here, already pre-molded to go around the side of the turret. We have a driver's hatch, not driver's hatch, a gunner's hatch. We have some things on the edge. You've got the basket, further details, and some more. Some more ERA to put on. So over all of these sprues, they're really not excessive detail, but the detail is certainly there. Now for a different color sprue, and this is interesting, and... I've been told this is the same with lots of the newer 172 trumpet kits. The outside tracks are different. They put the tracks on and the outside layer of the wheels. As you can see, there are further wheels in there that could be put in there. And they're on this grey sprue here, as you can see behind there. They're those. So what you do is you put those original wheels on, on the grey sprue onto the tank. And then you fit these around the edge. They're not badly detailed and they seem quite rigid. There's nothing wrong with them. Let's see, the detail looks pretty good on them. They, of course, will be painted other colors. Not sure why they've done it in this plastic. Might just be for molding purposes. Um, the actual inner details here look nice. So does it look like we're going to have any issue with these tracks. It'll be interesting. I've not done one where you've got to put them on top of other tracks. So we'll have to have a look at that. So that concludes the parts. We're going to move on to the decals now. But summary of the parts then, we have your sprues and of course the main details. 
different sprue plastic for them. Overall, fairly decent detail, nothing excessive or extravagant, but decent enough for a cheap model kit. Okay, so taking a look at the decal sheet. Now, of course, we have your code down here for the tank. Now, the decals are white, obviously. They're not the best to see on camera with this blue background, but I'll try my best to show them. We have numbers here for whatever numbers you want them on. We have your Soviet tanker symbol there. We have a Russian flag. All of these are corresponding to different schemes you can find in the instructions. We have some set numbers here. If you want to do already preset numbers and of course the larger ones. Nothing excessive decal wise once again. Um, they seem a little glossy and a little too thick when compared to newer kits from Airfix and Revel. Now I'm not saying they're going to be awful but I'm expecting them to be a little more troublesome when compared to other kits. But we'll have to wait and see. I'll of course be doing a full build video so we can show you how these turn out. Let's see the summary of four categories. Price, is it on Amazon? Is it a fun kit? And would I recommend it? So I got this kit for £13.99 on eBay. At the time of the purchase, I could not find it on Amazon, so other users might find it difficult to find. It was definitely a fun kit and would, of course, recommend it to anyone. It wasn't difficult, but it also wasn't overly hard, so I just recommend it. I will be uploading a full build video of this kit, so if you want to know what the kit was like properly, then of course stay tuned for that. So that's the end of the Russian T80 BV MBT by Trumpeter in one 70 second scale unboxing. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to hit the like button and of course subscribe if you want to watch any more of my videos. Also join my Discord server, link in description.